Hello and welcome everybody. Today we have a new set that I paid for with my own money, sample set from BR Pro Poker, and I want to have a look at it. So let's line these up here so you can see the denominations right here, starting with 25 cents. Has a nice tropi tropical, tro I put an F in there somewhere, tropical look, which I like. It's worked well for Vegas. You can see Acapulco, Mexico right here. Interesting design. I, I like it. it. It's a happy design. So we are going to explore the tropical oasis today and see if coconut juice really is delicious at all. So let's play a hand first. Should we do that? Let's stack them here. We'll see how they do. See if they misbehave. If they scurry off somewhere. I'm going to use some Miriam Pro Poker. Speaking of ceramics, this is the cards that I have in my Tiki King case. I love that joker. The zebra... What? Five and eight. Uh, the zebra black and white style joker right there. I love that. I like to make these independent, these standalone videos. So if you're not familiar, the way I shuffle plastic cards is something called the weave shuffle. I've heard it called the reverse weave, but basically plastic cards shuffle very easily. And so we're not going to spend too much time doing that. Let's just cut this and see how we do. If you would like to play at home, Get a deck, shuffle your deck, deal yourself two cards, and let us know what you have in the comments below. But I'm going to play my invisible friend, Jane Doe, up here, and we'll see how I do. I have a history of running really, really well. For, the, for those of you that have been subscribed for a long time, know that that's absolutely not true. There you go, everybody's favorite flop of 7-2. Oh... There we have it. And as usual, I'm left with the lucky seven. Let's see if Jane beats me. Not today. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, look, she didn't. Oh, wow, that's amazing. All right, well, let us know what you guys, you know, you could have the exact same hand that I have because there are 10,000 decks. Are the views that, are the views doing that well? There's at least 308 views on this, so 300 different decks. Let's put this back together again. All the king's horses. Maybe we should let the horses give it a try again here, because this is not working out well for me. All right. So how did the chips do? Did they look good? The materials on these, they're ceramics, okay? So they're a hard plastic, and I've taken these before. I don't know if you can see. Can you see these little marks right here? I've taken them, and I like to scrape them together, you know, to see... You can see some little marks, but they prove to be pretty durable. Can you see, like, little marks? Uh, somewhere on here there's something. Anyway, there are some little marks. So they, they can leave little marks, but as far as, like, chips go, they're very durable. My kids have thrown these and played with these a little bit, and they haven't broken yet. Some chips I can break in my hand, but not these. These have proven to be very, very durable. So let's talk about the design here real quick. The materials are good. Oh, well, for those of you that don't know, there's no label, no sticker on here. It's just dye. They use what they call a dye sublimation process where they print onto these transfer sheets and then heat transfer them onto these hard plastic blanks. So these don't peel off. And so now we're going to the design. With that said, there's a separate piece that goes around the edges that they heat up. And so in order to get those aligned, it takes a little bit of extra time to manually, by hand, line those up before they transfer those. And so you can get edge spot alignment for a premium. Just so you know, these are under a dollar a chip, and it, the price varies depending on how many you purchase. But you can pay a premium and get these get edge spots. You can actually get custom edge spots that match these lined up with your face edge spots. If that's important to you, consider it. But I like that they didn't try to mask it. Like, we know what these are. They're ceramics. I'm not looking to have aligned edge spots on my ceramics because it's not a modern ceramic design. Does that make sense? We're not trying to mimic clay chips where they actually put material in there and the edge spot goes the same from face to face and across the edge. So that's for what it's worth for me. I don't mind. I'd rather just pay less and get 
the edge spots not aligned. That's my opinion. And people, every, let us know what you think in the comments below. I suspect there will be people who, where it's important that the edge spots are aligned. So just be aware of that little thing with the design. Now the design themselves, they are very interesting. They go with this concave burst pattern and it progresses. So I like the, I don't want to call it an inlay, but it's the inlay design that progresses. Okay. So tropical oasis, you can see the palm tree. It's funny when I talk to different people, some people hate palm trees, like in South Carolina, there's just like palm trees are just a rat. They're havens for rats. There are rat colonies that live in those. I'm like, maybe you could prune your palm trees, prune them well. And then maybe not so many rats would live up there, but some people don't like palm trees. It's a weed. Other people love them. The Palmetto State. So some people love them, some people don't. It's up to you, whatever you like. Tropical Oasis, obviously this is playing to the Mexico theme. I like this ocean, these ocean waves here. It looks like the sun setting or rising on the ocean resort and casino. Beautiful, beautiful design. I really like them. They're happy. So let's look at these, like this concave star pattern right here. It progresses to the one, which has this medallion pattern. Do you remember the stickers you would get in as like in elementary school? First place, number one. Dollar signs right here. And then looking at the progression here, we get this starburst, this concave starburst again with a higher frequency. And then we move to a hexagon, a cog, another medallion, and finally the three point cog right here. Very interesting design. I like the design. I can't really complain. I like the 500. I like that party feel with all these little V-shaped face inserts. Face, uh, not inserts, face uh, edge spots. So, you know, I'll let you look at those for a little bit while I burp. While I grab my, uh, where is, while I grab my scale, where is my, oh, I see my calipers. I have to go over there to get them. All right, so let's turn this on. They should be set to grams here. Grams, all right, let's have a look. Put it here dead center. We're looking at a whopping nine and a half grams. That's what we expect with ceramics. They're generally very consistent. There's not a lot of weight variance as the die weighs next to nothing. That I'm gonna transfer onto here. Let's put one more on here while I reach over and grab my yeah, nine and a half. All right, beautiful. Turn that off. And my general, just general, general steel calipers. You're going to damage your chips. Yeah, well, I'm doing it here so you don't have to do this at home, all right, everybody? So my experience is that these ceramics are also pretty good with tolerances for weight, width, thickness. So you can see 39 millimeters wide let's look at thickness it should be 3.3 yeah 3.34 let's try a different one let's see how close it gets to that first measurement 3.21 3.20 and thickness let's see if that's about the same yeah within what a tenth one tenth of a millimeter so pretty happy with that with those tolerances they shuffle well, they feel well. They sound a little bright because the material is pretty hard. And so let's do a sound test while I'm thinking about it. We have some horseshoes, this Southern Indiana, HSI Paulsons, and we have some Monte Carlo. These are metal slug ABS chips. This is kind of a softer plastic with a metal slug. These are real obsolete casino chips and we have some ceramics here. So let's dive in. Let's start with the metal slug ABS chips, the Monte Carlo versus Tropical Oasis. Again, we'll see how my audio picks that up, but they sound very different in person. And maybe a little bit closer, but still very different. All right, well, I like these. Uh, do I like them more than my the my fame? My Tiki Kings, I love Tiki Kings still. Uh, they don't get old, they're just cool. They both kind of have this like island feel to them. So I like both of these, uh, but these are very good. Like if I didn't have a set of Tiki Kings, I would genuinely be considering getting some Tropical Oasis. 
the one the one thing that I like about the Tiki Kings more than these is the lack of edge spots, so you, they can put whatever they want on the edge, and it doesn't throw it off. That's just something, one little nitpick that I have with the Tropical Oasis, but uh, no problems other than that. So I'm excited to read your comments. Everybody's going to have different opinions. Hopefully <laughs> people have different opinions. If we all were agreed on the same things, that would be kind of weird and awkward. If you want to support this channel, you can support me on Patreon. We message back and forth. I put some behind the scenes things up there, little videos, photos. And you can also support me by shopping on my Amazon shop. I have a link to that in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.